You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Linda, your host, and today I have a returning guest. I have Mrs. Massachusetts, Dima Hendricks. Dima, Hi. welcome. Nice to see you. How are you? Good to see you again. I love your smile. Thank you. <laughs> You're one of the most positive people I've met on doing this show. We promote all the different nonprofits and different good causes that are out there, but uh, you've been successful so yes. far. Yes. And you want to go to the International level? Yes, I'm going to Mrs. International mm -hmm. in August, and I'll be competing and vying for the title of Mrs. International. Wow, that's that's cool. Um, so what do you have to do to get there? I know there's, there's, there's more to it than meets the eye and what Absolutely. people know about pageants. So so tell uh, us what you got to go through to get there. So, of course, there is it's a regular pageant. Mm -hmm. There's the the on-stage question and answer, and so a lot of pageants have uh, swimsuits, and we have interview, and our interview is 40%, and we, it's, a, it's a big ordeal. Mm -hmm. um, we have a platform, and my platform is proud to proclaim, never ashamed, um, basically telling my story of survival. So there's so many different things that we have to do within this pageant system, and just pretty much be a voice and representation for married women. Mm. Okay. Um, it sounds kind of, in a way, like my speech class that I teach. <laughs> I give them different percentages yes. when I give them the grade. They, yes. Forty percent of the grade is attendance, participation, and effort. Yes. Okay, but the platform is, is serious it's stuff. It's serious. Okay, when when I when they do their persuasive speeches, I said, talk about something you're passionate about. Mm -hmm. You're passionate about your cause. I'm passionate about my cause, and it's hard. It was hard to find a cause because I am a sickle cell survivor, right. I'm a witness to domestic violence, and I realized that my story was my platform. My mm -hmm. life is my platform. And I wanted people to understand that they too have a platform and can use their story just like the Bible was used and just like people who are writers and authors use their platform. Mm -hmm. um, I want to use my story to and tell people that they could tell their story too. Well, you want to give us a little snippet of that, maybe? I don't know if you're prepared. I don't want to hold you on the spot, but you you you, you live it. Yes. You've dealt with it. Yes. You've overcome yes. things. So what are you hoping to tell the person that's lucky enough to be a judge on the other end? That despite adversities, that anyone can be an overcomer. Mm -hmm. And um, I've had so many near-death experiences. I've been... Um, I've witnessed the death of my mother. Um, I've witnessed so many things. I grew up in the inner cities. Mm -hmm. I um, I grew up in a fatherless home. I was a foster child. And dis despite all those things, and despite that I had sickle cell, and despite the fact that I had a stroke, I am here and I'm standing and I'm making a difference. Well, you just told me before we went on the air that you're now using your degree to help other people. Yes. I Tell now, us about that. <laughs> so now I'm an in-home therapist mm -hmm. for High Point. And very challenging work because we're I'm pretty much working with kids that were just like me. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. And trying to find a balance of um, where they are now to where I know they can be, because they right now they don't see their potential. Sure. So I'm trying to push them to their ultimate potential. And it, they could be or are foster. They're foster children. children. There's um, there's peop there's children that don't have fathers in their in their home. There's children that um, have. ADHD or mm -hmm. oppositional defiance. There's so many different diagnoses that are across the board. However, they, I know that they can make it. And I'm trying to give them the, the chutzpah to move forward. There you go. I love that <laughs> word. Um, so in order, you took adversity, you turned it into something good with some help from some people along the way. Yes. Okay. Went to school, got a degree. Yes. It'll inspire others. There's Absolutely. no question about it. Because you're not getting up on the stage and talking about world peace. Which, uh, oh. unfortunately, not not a single person by <laughs> themselves can do no. anything about it. It takes a village or whatever you want to say. And I don't want to be a, pad, a part of a pageant system 
that just talks about world peace and talks about, oh, I'm an advocate for this particular cause and they're not aware or are connected to the cause. Um, I want to be a part of this system because we're women, we're married women, we have children, we want, we're business women and we want to make a difference. Well, I was just going to say, how do you juggle it all? Because if you really think about it, you're, you're a parent, you're a yes. mother, so you have children to deal with. Yes, I More have. than one? I have two boys. Two boys, okay. <laughs> I, had, I had two boys too. I think God didn't give me a girl because he knew I couldn't handle it. Absolutely. Okay. But um, challenging, one is 14? One is 14. Okay. And the other? The other is five. Okay. So you got a little spread there too. Yes. And which makes it easier. One looks after the other. Well, that's that's a good thing. I, <laughs> I, I have two brothers. I have an older, my, my mother unfortunately lost some children in between us. Yeah. So she was an only child. So was my father. Nobody wanted to be an only child. Yeah. I didn't have any aunts, uncles, or first cousins. So mm -hmm. small family. Mm -hmm. But um, you got two, you're juggling. Yes. So you're doing that. You're working. Yes. Um, You've gone to school and probably gone back to school because usually when you're dealing with what you're dealing with, you need Absolutely. an advanced degree. It took me 15 years to get my bachelor's degree. Yep. And it, I say that because I had in and out of the hospital, yep. had serious bout with sickle cell, and finally got my degree. And then right after that, I went back and got my master's, which was way quicker. <laughs> so. Yeah, I know. I, it took me 10 years to go back for my yeah. master's. So how can people help you? Um, you're doing this, you're self-funded, you do this mm -hmm. on, on your own. Absolutely. You don't have an organization backing you. No. So you're looking for people in the greater Brockton area. So I'm looking for individuals to just go on my website. Um, Tell us what it is. DimaHendricks.com, D-I-M-A-H-E-N-D-R-I-C-K-S.com. There you will see my blog, you'll read my story, learn more about me, and you can actually Help me out if, you, if you're willing to. There's so many ways to help out. You can buy a shirt. You can mm -hmm. um, make a donation with GoFundMe. All the links are there. Um, it'd be very much appreciated. So, okay, um, I got the two minute queue. Awesome. So, the um, the pageant is in August. Yes. Okay, in West Virginia. It is in West Virginia. I'll be traveling to West Virginia of all places. Okay. I don't know how they picked I, West Virginia, but that's okay. <laughs> the director lives in the area, so. There you go. <laughs> so what's the number one thing you want to get out to, to people? Your theme, your message, what do you want to say to convince people to help you and to root for you? That I am just a girl that grew up in the inner city and I made it this far and anyone can make it. Anyone can do this. Anyone ha everyone has a story. That's just oh. pretty much it. We're hoping maybe they do some recording down there and we can get oh, some of those clips back so we can talk about your victory when we're all done. Well, and hopefully top 10. We'll, we'll see top what happens. Ten's good. Top 10's, top 10's good. good. But it's been years since I got back into pageantry, so I'm dusting the shoes off and seeing polishing how, the crown. Polishing the crown and seeing what happens. So one day at a time. Well, we wish you good luck. Thank um, you. And Godspeed. All right. Thank you. Okay. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.